Hey Clothes Reptile family, thanks for joining us on this video. So we're bringing you guys the last clutch of the 2024 season. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below with any questions you guys have about our Western Hognose. Let's take a look at the babies now. So the last clutch of the 2024 season, unless we get a very uh, surprising double clutch, um, but we didn't get any double clutches this year. You know, last year we got a handful of double clutches and, you know, we have more females. So we ended up with about the same amount of babies with all of our females. So I'm really good, happy with that. Um, you know, I'm not greedy. I don't want to produce that much more. Um, so I'm really good, happy with what the final production of the year was. So one of our clutches that we wanted to produce this year was more lavender, lavender uh, anacondas. And this pairing here was our Arctic lavender, 100% head albino to our um, purple line anaconda, 100% head albino and lavender female. So we got one albino and a uh, handful of la uh, lavenders, lavender condas, anaconda normals are 100% het for lavender and 66% het for albino. So really actually got what we wanted out of this clutch. No corals this year, but we produced a good amount of corals last year and um, happy with what we got. So let's start um, with the lavender condas and my favorite lavender out of this clutch Oh my God, I don't know. There's two, really. And it's this one right here. This one's really nice. If I can get it focused. It's got lavenders, but it's also got some pinks on the side, some reddish colors. And it's a conda. You know, oh, let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Nice, very purple belly. Beautiful here. And then what is this one? Let's see. That is a male. So we're going to put him away. So the genetics for this one work that they're all going to be 100%, like the normal, they're going to be 100% het lavender, 66% het um, albino. And then the lavenders are lavender, 66% het albino. And the way that works is because the male which is the Arctic lavender was a hundred percent visual lavender. So he's going to pass on a hundred all the time, going to pass on one copy to all his offsprings. And then the mother carried the lavender gene. So there's, you know, possibility as I'll say about 50% chance that she passes on her lavender gene to create lavenders. And since the male and the female are only a hundred percent heads, they don't, they're not visually lavender. I mean, albino, then there's only a 66% chance that non-visual albinos are gonna be albino. So that's uh, the genetics. Um, if you guys are interested more in genetics and stuff like that, um, Morph Market has a genetic calculator on there. We can go in and put certain combos and see what the outcome is. So that's a really cool tool. I used it a lot when I first started and was looking into um, what's it called? Genetics and morphs. So here's another lavender conda, 66% het for um, albino. Really nice. And I think this one's an Arctic too. So beautiful. Let me see if I can get that belly to show you guys. There we go. And this one is a another male. We're gonna go with the last. Oh no, we got two more lavenders. Nice Arctic lavender here. No condo on this one. Nice belly. And it is a male. Wow, a lot of males this year.
the last lavender very small baby here beautiful and it is a female three males and one female lavender wow the odds are very interesting on this on the um at least on the sex and then we're gonna do the albino and this is an albino anaconda um there's very very faint pattern there is some pattern on the sides um and we're 100 percent uh, sure that it is anaconda because only the female was anaconda the male is not so that's a anaconda albino 66 percent well 100 percent hat lavender sorry because the male was visual lavender and it is a male really nice so what we're gonna go we're gonna go with anacondas normal anacondas and there's some really cool um patterns in this clutch and this purple line this guy is a purple a very strong purple line here you guys can see very bright Nice dark belly with no pattern because I had an Anaconda G and this one's 100% het lavender, 66% het albino. Uh, yeah, 66 albino. And it was a, is that a male? Let's see. That is a male, very long tail. Next, now what do we go next? This is another very nice purple line very reduced pattern like almost like that albino with just with the albino is harder to see but this one you can see more pattern since it's uh you know a normal brown color purple line so it has a little more saturation so and that one's a nice little female really like this uh dashed conda really pretty very unique and it is a male, very long tail male, very cool. I like that one a lot, very unique. Another beautiful conda, purple line. And that is a female, it looks like a long tail female. Let's see that. I'm gonna have to wait and see. I think that's a long tail female right there. Okay, another conda. We got a lot of condas in this. Same thing, same again, this very uh, reduced conda pattern. And this one is a male. Is it a male? Hold on. So you gotta straighten out their tail because they start curling their tail. Looks like a female, the tail is short. And last but not least, it's a normal 100% head lavender, 66% head albino. There we go. This one has some pattern in the belly because it's not conda. So very nice. Thank you guys. This is the end of the 2024 hatchling season, but we're gonna keep you guys updated with everything that's going on. As usual, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below, and we'll see you guys on the next one.